The Little Prince. One day, the engine on my plane broke down, and I was forced to land in a desert. There was a severe sandstorm, and though I tried my hardest to get the engine fixed, the plane wouldn't start. I had to spend the night alone among the sand dunes. Constrictor. How can you tell it's a boa constrictor? It's a boa constrictor that has swallowed an elephant, but I need a sheep. Why do you need a sheep? I come from a very small planet. You can go all the way around it in only a few steps, so no one travels far. There are two dormant volcanoes and one active one. That is where I place my pot to cook. What? To cook your sheep? No. Have you heard of the baobab tree? Well, the sheep must eat the new sprouts of the baobab tree. Why? Well, you see, one baobab tree is bigger than ten elephants. Just three of them could tear my tiny planet to pieces. I agreed to draw a sheep for the little prince. Here you go. Uh, this sheep is too old. What about this one? Uh, it's a goat. <sighs> this one looks ill. <sighs> this is the best I can do. <clears throat> Here. Much. There is a young sheep sleeping in the box. <laughs> the following morning, as I attempted to take out the bolt stuck in my engine, the little prince said, I want to see the sunset. The sun won't set for hours. You will have to wait a while. What? Why will I have to wait? Well, it's only morning. The sun sets at the end of the day. I keep forgetting I'm not on my planet anymore. <laughs> my planet is so tiny that you can see the sunset anytime you want just by shifting your chair. I once watched the sunset 44 times in one day. Uh, 44 times? Oh. <sighs> my engine was still broken the next day and the day after. I began to grow uneasy because I was afraid of dying out there in the desert. If a sheep can eat new sprouts, it can eat flowers too, right? A sheep can eat any plant it comes across. Uh, even if the flower has thorns? That's right, even if it has thorns. The thorns are completely useless. Please stop asking silly questions. I am in serious trouble and am very busy. What? You wouldn't feel that way if you could see how many colors the sky has and smell the sweet fragrance of flowers and the wind. Do you realize how proud the flower is of its thorns? Uh. <sighs> <laughs> the little prince told me all about his rose, which he had left behind on his planet. One day, a gorgeous rose blossomed on his planet. Oh, how beautiful! <gasps> I am the only flower in this whole world. <laughs> Oh, the wind is so very cold. Can you please shield me with the 
glass cover every night? Uh, uh, I'm so thirsty. Oh, please give me some water. Hmm? Uh, if a tiger comes by, you can let it go past me. Why? I'm not afraid of the tiger's claws. I have my lovely thorns to protect me. But there aren't any tigers here. Oh, oh. <coughs> the little prince spoke to the rose every day and gave it everything it asked. Then one day, he decided to leave his planet and go on a journey. I'm going away. Oh, oh what? Away? Oh, where? Oh, all right. Oh, goodbye. Oh. But the prince was concerned for his rose. Oh, what about the wind? Oh, it's okay. I never really needed that glass cover. And the animals? You know there are no animals here. Besides, I have my sharp thorns. Don't worry about me. Just go. Go ahead. <laughs> Leaving his home planet, the little prince traveled to see other planets. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm very busy with important business. Oh, oh, how much can I get for this planet? Oh, and for that one. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Oh, I'm so busy. Well, I will allow you to stand here and now permit you to ask your questions. Ask at once. But I have no questions. Then, I order you to become my servant. No, I don't wish to be your servant. Uh, g g goodbye N No, wait. Uh, uh, do you want to be a minister? Uh, Come back, wait! I mean, don't go! Don't go! No! Uh, adults are so odd. There. Oh. Uh, oh, what are you doing? The same thing I always do. Now it's time to turn on the light. Oh, now it's time to turn off the light. But, uh, oh, who are you? Uh, never mind, I'm very busy. Oh, and it's time to turn on the light again. Mm -hmm. Finally, the little prince reached a big planet called Earth. What? Oh, who are you? Why, we're roses. No, you can't be. There is only one single rose in the world. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> what do you think we are then? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> but I thought my rose was the one and only. Oh, now I see it's just an ordinary rose like all the others. <laughs> oh. must not be from around here, or you would know me. Hmm. I come from a far-off planet. Oh? A different planet? One of those stars in the sky? That's so exciting! But what were you crying about? I thought the rose on my planet was the one and only, and there are thousands here on Earth. I thought mine was special. Hmm. Uh, let's be friends. Friends? That's right. But for us to be friends, we must both be tamed. Learning to understand someone is being tamed by them. Tamed? If you promise to visit me every day at 4 o'clock, I will start to get excited from 3 o'clock. The instant you come, my face will be filled with joy. <laughs> The little prince promised and visited the fox every day to tame it and be tamed. One day, now, the fox said, Now, take a look at the roses over by the fence. Then come back and I will tell you a secret. <laughs> 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 
The prince went over to the fence and looked at the hundreds and hundreds of roses there. <laughs> you are all so beautiful, but you mean nothing to me. You have tamed no one and have not been tamed yourselves. My rose truly is the one and only. My fox is the one and only among all the foxes in the world. And the rose on my planet is the one and only to me. <laughs> The secret is very simple. You must look with your heart, and only then will you see clearly. You cannot see the essence with your eyes. Oh, I see. The little prince and I spoke until stars sparkled in the sky. Now I must return to my planet. My rose is waiting for me. Don't worry. Your sheep will never eat your rose. <laughs> The stars shone very brightly that night, and the next morning the prince had vanished, as if by magic. Oh. Oh. When I go back to my own planet, you will have your own special star, because I will be smiling down on you from among all the countless stars in the sky. The Prince and the Pauper The Ugly Duckling Rapunzel The Emperor's New Clothes The Bremen Town Musicians The Happy Prince Heidi, Girl of the Alps. Nobody's Boy. The Wizard of Oz. The Last Leaf. <laughs> 